Hi, Bill from CJ Pony Parts here with a new episode of Under the Hood. Now let me start by apologizing. I know it's been quite a while since our last video, but we've had so many projects here at CJ's to keep us busy that we simply lost track of time. Some of those projects include our 2017 EcoBoost Mustang that we built for the Ford Performance Display at SEMA, which was a huge honor for us as well. Then also one of my favorites, Project Crimstang, we did a coyote swap on my 1996 Mustang Cobra and turned it into an NMRA factory stock race car. At the same time, we've added a lot of cars to our fleet here, including our brand new Nitrous Blue Focus RS, a new Chevy Silverado, and Lucy here, our 1965 Mustang Convertible. We have a lot of videos obviously planned for the future with these cars, but let's take a look now what we've been up to the last few months. Like I mentioned before, the biggest build we've done recently was definitely our SEMA Mustang we built for the Ford Performance Display. We started out with a 2017 EcoBoost Mustang and loaded it up with pretty much the entire Ford Performance catalog, along with some cool parts from Cobb and Rally Innovations that built a truly unique car. We did install videos on every part of this car, so then you're looking to do your EcoBoost, there's definitely some great content there as well. In addition to the SEMA car, we've done a ton of different videos on the S550s. It's still one of the hottest Mustangs around. We showed you several different body options, including hoods, spoilers, and trunk lids from both True Fiber and Anderson Composites, along with custom splitters and even a custom light-up horse for your grill. Along the same lines, we also showed you different shifter options for your car, with shifters from Barton and Cedar for your manual transmission, and even a Hurst option for the automatic Mustang. For the SN95 fans, we showed you Project Crimstang, where we took my 1996 Mustang Cobra and turned it into an NMRA factory stock race car. To do that, we did a Coyote swap along with suspension upgrades and also showed you how to wire the car. We even took you to the track where this car ran a best of 10.5 at 127, getting ready to compete in the NMRA 2017 season. For the classic Mustangs, we showed you how to do a front disc brake conversion and also showed you how to replace your quarter ornaments on your 65 Mustang. With the introduction of our new 65 Mustang convertible, you can expect a lot more content for the classic Mustang fans. Shifting gears, the Focus RS has been a huge success. We showed you different exhaust options from MBRP, Borla, and Magnaflow, along with blow up valve options from TurboSmart and CPE. We showed you a host of other upgrades for this hot hatch and have a lot of videos planned for the future. Well, Focus RS might be the hot thing right now, we haven't forgot about our Focus ST fans as well. We showed you Steeda's popular jacking rail installation, and also showed you how to take some parts from the RS and use them to upgrade your ST. Hey, Freddie here. While Bill's been busy working on the Mustangs, I've been busy working on our trucks, particularly our 2016 EcoBoost F-150. We've done a ton of work to this truck, which has made a complete transformation. We installed adjustable route suspension with a set of killer wheels and tires and fender flares, then topped it off with a set of Addictive Desert Designs front and rear bumpers to give it a killer look. We did some more lighting upgrades to the truck as well. We installed a Puffco Switchblade LED tailgate light bar and a set of insanely bright Starkey reverse lights. One of the most important upgrades we did was a UPR dual valve oil separator to keep our truck running clean and healthy. We then installed a few more catback exhaust options to show you how they look and sound. First, we installed a Roush side exit exhaust, then an AFE Rebel side exit exhaust, which is my personal favorite. But the coolest thing by far we did to our F-150 was a Borla twin turbo upgrade kit. It came with upgraded turbochargers, a high flow air filter, NGK spark plugs, an SCT tuner, and an awesome true dual side exit exhaust, which gave this truck some serious power gains and really took it to a whole nother level. On our 2014 EcoBoost F-150, we installed MBRP hot and cold side intercooler pipes and an airlift air spring ride control kit with an air compressor to make it an absolute champ at towing. I got a chance to get my hands dirty with our 1968 Bronco as well. I was able to bring it to the 21st century by getting rid of the carburetor and installing a Holley EFI sniper fuel injection kit. It made cold starting and idling much better and made it run amazing. We've done a few installs on our F-150 Raptor, including LED mirror lights, which would be awesome when the truck goes off-road. And the hottest thing right now is the 2017 Raptor, and I promise we will have a ton of awesome Raptor content for you in 2017. And probably the biggest update, which was a complete shocker to many people, is GM truck parts and our new project truck. We got a 2017 Z71 Off-Road Edition Silverado with a 6.2 liter engine. It's a beautiful truck that came pretty much fully loaded. We installed a few catback exhaust options to show you how they look and sound, and we started off with the SLP catback exhaust, then installed an MBRP system. 
Both exhausts sound great and make the Silverado sound like a truck really should. We made it breathe better too by installing an SLP cold air intake, which was an absolute breeze to install. And of course, we had to do some lighting upgrades as well. We installed LED tag lights for a nice look and LED reverse lights to make backing up a little easier. As you can see, our truck market has been seriously expanding and we've been cranking out truck videos. So we decided to make a sister channel called CJ's Off-Road, which will be dedicated to truck and off-road videos. So make sure you subscribe to CJ's Off-Road. There'll be a link in the description. In addition to our normal parts and installation videos, we added our resource center, which should be a valuable hub for any Mustang or truck owner. Here, Freddie and I teamed up to show you how to change your oil on both your Mustang and your truck, talked about winterizing vehicles, we even argued the benefits of superchargers versus turbochargers. We've also had a lot more social videos lately, we had a great time doing our Toys for Tots run, and also have had a lot of fun letting Freddie test drive my car, and do some other fun videos as well. Thanks for checking out this episode of Under the Hood. As you saw, we've been really busy with our CJ Project vehicles, and along with bringing you all the installation videos you've come to expect from CJ Pony Parts. I can tell you this, we have a lot of really cool stuff planned for 2017. It's going to be a wild ride for sure, so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out.